Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you my design team project for Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. The name of the kit is Berkeley Square and it has 26 pages. Now, um, I don't know if you may have seen my video a couple weeks ago. It's starting my design team project for Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. In that one, I showed the whole kit, all the pages and all the pieces, because like I said, it's 26 pages, so you get a lot. I'm gonna move this over a minute um, and show you some of these. This is the one that I did the video and made a collage page. But I thought I'd just, I wanted to make a few different things with the kit just to show you how versatile it is. These are the tags I made with the corrugated cardboard. And this is using pieces from the kit and then, you know, a few odds and ends. But like I said, I just wanted to show you how much you get and how versatile the kit is. And next I'll show you the journal. Let's keep that over a little. This is a soft covered journal. It's wallpaper and cardstock. And the wallpaper had the, these little raised flowers. So I colored them with a little bit of the worn lipstick distress ink. Put one of the um, corrugated card or tags on here and some pink lace. Got some lace on the edging here. This is like, I think it's 64 pages. Got some uh, fabric ribbons on the side. Put some lace and pocket and a couple of cards here. And then this is the journal pages. All of these are obviously are from the kit. Just did some stamping and stenciling. Is that showing up on here? Just a beautiful kit. I've got a pocket here with a tag. Some fabric on that. I've used some of this fabric throughout to keep it kind of consistent. And a book page here. I thought the floral went nice with it. Side pocket here. And this is another one of the small uh, tags with the corrugated cardboard. And I use these ladies just to make a little tuck for this card. And as always, I like leaving blank pages or plain pages in here with maybe just a little stamping or stenciling. So you've got pr plenty of room to journal or to, you know, make it your own. Add whatever you'd like to have in it. So that's one thing I always like to do. Some stamping and stenciling. And this is some paper. Something was wrapped in it that I had ordered. And I just love the color and texture. Got another fabric ribbon here. Such pretty papers. A little tag in here. Again, with that same fabric. There's the other side of this colored paper. I just layered a couple of things on that. And this is one of, um, it's Rachel's last Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I haven't done the whole challenge on video yet, but I made a couple. It's the triple pocket. I think they're so cute. It was such a great idea. So you've got three pockets here. Some music paper and just layered up a few things here again with the that same fabric. Trying to keep that going throughout. Some stenciling. One of the pieces of ephemera with stamping around it.
Just layered up several things here. I thought that came out pretty. Some more stenciling here. Pocket from the kit. And then this is a card from the kit that I made into just, you know, a little booklet, a little notebook with several sheets of coffee dyed paper. Just tuck that in there. Got an oversized card there. And then this is the back. I just took a nut. Yeah, I almost thought that was glued in. Another one of those um, corrugated cardstock, uh, cardboard pockets. And that's the end. Got more lace on the back here. But that's the journal. And then I made one of these double pockets. These are large size. Let me see, I forgot to measure it. It's five, almost five and a half by seven and a half inches tall. So they're nice size. And I love this kind of pocket because Obviously, it's reusable. Let me just go through a few of these. These are just some different tags and cards from the kit. Got them inked on both sides. So you really got a lot of journaling space. And I just made this tag with the um, one of the cutouts. And again, that same fabric. And you've got one of the little ladies in here. And take these out. Here's the car or the double pocket. And once you use all of these, you can just use the pocket as a ephemera holder. So these are just some of the tags and cards that come with the kit. And even making all of this, they're still plenty of ephemera left, but this is just, like I said, I just wanted to show you how much is in here and how many things you can make. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like everything, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you tomorrow. Happy crafting.